Saya suka nasi goreng, sate ayam, manis dan mangga. Jadi saya janco. Janco. Dan co. Janco. <laughs> Are you ready to play for Timnas in Indonesia? Have you already contacted by PSSI? Yeah, yeah. So... Yo, what up, Royal People? Back and with me, Roy Ricardo, the most wanted rapper in the Mereka bilang gua siapa? Lu halu, lu halu, lu halu. KRTV. Terima kasih buat Royal People yang like, comment, and subscribe channel gue yang ini dan channel gue yang Roy Ricardo. Kita kembali ke konten yang sudah banyak di request sama Lo Royal People untuk ngobrol-ngobrol dengan pemain bola naturalisasi yang akan dinaturalisasi ke tim nasional Indonesia. Tapi, anyway. Ini konten sangat-sangat ingat karena gua syutingnya ini jam 1 pagi waktu Indonesia Barat dan kalau dibalik nih kamera, wah studio gua penuh dengan barang-barang yang sudah dipeki karena gua akan pindahan ke rumah baru. Tungguin dan doain Roy People, semoga pindahannya lancar semua dan gua bakal bikin konten yang lebih menarik di rumah baru gua nantinya pasti ya. Oke, langsung saja kita kembali ke konten kali ini. Sudah pasti banyak banget Roy People yang sudah nanya ya ke DM Instagram gua atau YouTube channel gua untuk uh, kapan interview sama pemain yang satu ini. Langsung saja kita sambut Cyrus Margono. Cyrus Margono, how are you, bro? Selamat sore, bro. How are you? Selamat sore, selamat sore. Yeah. <laughs> In here, 1 a.m. bro. 1 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. What time is there? Right now it's uh it's eight o'clock. I just eight finished uh, training and I got home. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where are you now? Now I'm home. I, I live in Athens. Oh, Athens. Are you still alone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I live alone. Can you can you exactly. show show us some of your place? <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I'm in the corner. Over yeah. here, I got uh, the couch. You know the the boots, the boots for the recovery. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. And over there, I have the kitchen and my bedroom. Okay, okay. And then, <laughs> and then the bedroom. And where is it? Where is it? Ah, it's over here. Apartment? It. Apartment? Is it a apartment? Yeah, it's an apartment. Exactly. Got the kitchen over here. It's Some a, fruits, you know. You cook by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, I got my bedroom over here. Okay, bedroom. Okay, <laughs> no women, yeah. And you have your new house, and you have your new house, huh? Your yeah. house is much nicer than mine. For yeah, sure. No, bro, no, bro. Your <laughs> house is nicer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus Margo, no. Your name is like uh, very popular right now in Indonesia, especially for uh, football fans in here. You know, bro. How do you feel? How come? Well, I mean, as I'm sure a lot of people have heard, uh, you know, I'm interested in joining Team Nas and yes. becoming a part of the Indonesian national team. Okay, but first of all, uh, can you tell us where is your Indonesian blood come from? So my father is Indonesian. Uh, his whole family is is born and raised there. So he's from, um, he was born in Bali and he grew up in Surabaya. Okay. So, how do I say your name properly? Cyrus or Mark. Cyrus? <laughs> uh, the English is Cyrus. Cyrus. Uh, but technically, it's a, it's a Persian name from my mom's side. And it's uh, Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> Cyrus yeah, 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 is like, exactly. in Indonesia, you know, you can drink it, Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a syrup, yeah, John, yeah? <laughs> Cyrus. <Bro. laughs> okay, your name Margono, where, where, where does it come from, bro? So, um, my grandfather chose the name. Yes. Uh, op I mean, Opa, which is what I call him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he chose the name Margono because his wife was named, uh, the beginning of her name was M-A-R. Yeah. And, you know, so he chose because Margono, I think it's, it's Javanese name. <laughs> of course. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he chose that and yeah, that's where my name is from. Yeah, yeah bro. Margono is so Indonesian name, bro. <laughs> okay bro have you been to indonesia before yeah actually so ever since i think i was three or four years old every summer uh me and my family we would all go to indonesia we'd go to jakarta surabaya bali and the other islands and we'd go for maybe one month every year until i was uh 11 years old 11 yeah. years old so yeah. 
the last time you came here is like uh, nine nine years ago. Yeah, nine ten years ago, I think. Nine, yeah, something like that. Ago. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, can you speak Bahasa, bro? No, no, no. But I know, I know a little words here and there. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I know apa kabar. Apa kabar. Uh, no, of course. I know. I'll I'll say some words. You know when we go in the interview. Uh, kamu ganteng. Yeah, tahu, kamu ganteng. No, no, no. I don't know. No, no. But I want to learn. Cewek, I want to learn cewek, 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 cewek. Tahu cewek. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you can. You'll teach me. Uh, I'll teach you, bro. I'll teach you. When yeah, you come yeah. here, I will teach you anything. Bad yeah. words. <laughs> no, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about Jakarta, Bali? When I remember, yeah. it was a long time ago, but I remember it, it was it was nice. You know, Jakarta. I remember it was very busy. Yeah. But it was very. There's a lot of life. You know, and I know. I hear now it's uh they built a new area that's really that's really uh nice in Jakarta. Uh, yeah. There's some new place in Jakarta, like a uh, yeah. extended of Jakarta, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ah, okay. You should come. And when I was, a, yeah, yeah. And when I was a kid, I went to. Uh, I remember Pacific Place, the Pacific mall. Pacific, you know. Place? Yes. Yeah, it's Kizania, still there. You know. It's still there. Yeah, yeah. Pacific. Place. And then Bali was beautiful. Bali. Of course, Bali is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Bali, yeah. Wow. Mm. The food <laughs> and then the beaches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your favorite Indonesian food? Ah, uh, saya suka. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Uh, sate, yeah, sate ayam. And I'm not sure if you know um, manisan mangga. You know that? Manisan mangga? Waduh. This yeah. is manisan, John. <laughs> manisan mangga. I love it. Really? Yeah. I love it. I would always, whenever I go to Indonesia, we bring back a box, big box of manisan mangga. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Manisan mangga. Rece banget ya. Anjay. <laughs> So your your mother is from Iran, right? Mm-hmm. Which one do you prefer, Indonesian food or Iran? I, Iran, Lebanese, yeah? is it Lebanese food? Iran? No, yeah, Iranian food. Yeah, which one do you prefer? Uh, I like them both a lot, a lot. A lot. Both are very good because yeah, yeah, I can't, similar. Yeah, I can, uh, it's not very similar. Iran, there's a lot of rice. I love yeah, rice. Rice. I have rice all the time. Yeah. Um. And Iranian food, I mean, sorry, um, Indonesian food. There's more like fish and things, you know, and it's much more spicy. I love, I love spicy. Oh, you But like spicy? Persian? Food? Food? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You? Oh yeah. You like spicy? That, uh, of course, bro. I'm from Batak. <laughs> you know, Batak, North Sumatra, no. Batak Nis. Ah, Sumatra. Yeah, Sumatra. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Sumatra, bro. So I like spicy uh. food a lot. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Bro. <laughs> I saw your pictures. Yeah, you visited the Indonesian embassy. What did you do there? Uh, so they reached out to me, and I went there. I met the ambassador uh, to Greece from Indonesia. All right. And you know, we discussed about potentially becoming uh, officially a citizen. You know, getting my national ID card and the passport, and then uh, joining. Uh, hopefully the Indonesian national team and just the future, you know, Wait. just to meet each other, you know, all these things. Yeah. Why did you choose Indonesian national team? Uh, I'm choosing Indonesian national team now because, you know, my father is Indonesian and I grew up a lot of my life, yes. I think, in Indonesia. You know, I love the people, I love the the culture, uh, the food, uh, everything, you know, it's why, great. Why not Iran national team? Yeah, yeah. So... I think you know. Of course, my mom is is uh, Iranian. My dad is Indonesian, and I grew up in America. Yeah, similar to how um, I know Elkan grew up in uh, England. Yes. But for me, Indonesia has felt like a second home. Being there in the summer a lot, and my uh, my older brother, he's eight years older than me. He grew up in Indonesia for I think five years or something like this. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you choose Indonesian national team because. You get more chemistry with Indonesia, right? Yeah, I feel I feel like uh, you know I feel close to both countries, but Indonesia I feel you know maybe more close. Yeah, yeah, the chemistry is uh, more, yeah, bro, yeah. Okay, okay. exactly. Okay, okay. So, uh, tell me about how you could get contract with Panathinaikos. So I went on trial with Panathinaikos. Yeah. You know, my agent my agent brought me over to Greece. He's yes. he's Greek guy. And I was there for four weeks, I think, in um, in August. Three, four weeks. You know, I was playing some games. I was training, and you know, I got, I did well. 
and they offered me a contract and uh, of course i i took it yeah how long the contract bro uh it's until 2024 so it's a three-year contract 2024 oh <laughs> still got two years bro yeah <laughs> yeah two and a half yeah, yeah two and a half years yeah bro yeah so uh you like it in Panathinaikos? yeah i love it no it's a, it's a it's a great club yeah it's a historic club um you know the the culture and the the way the team operates and the club operates is, is very good You know, I love playing in Europe and in Greece. You know, it's a great country to to start my career for sure. I love it. All right. How do you know about football from child? You know, um, I think my mom signed me up when I was three years old. Yeah. To first play football, and in the U.S., you know, of course, we call it soccer. Soccer, yeah. So, soccer um, in U.S. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. Uh, yeah, I grew up playing then, and then. I think I just fell in love with it at a young age. Because the most famous sports in US is football, American football, American right? Football. Yeah, yeah. Why you why your mother brought you to the soccer <laughs> soccer school? Yeah, yeah. Um so I actually as a kid I always wanted to play American football. You know, I loved it. I love like uh catching the ball, you know, running yeah. and things. Yeah. And I would play with my friends, but it was very dangerous. So, you know, for like your head and stuff. <laughs> And then why 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 did you choose to be a goalkeeper, not a striker or yeah, maybe yeah. a winger? So, yeah. So this is a funny story. Yeah. Um, I was trying out for a team when I was 11 or 12. I think I was 11, and they said we need someone to go in the goal, you know, just for just for the tryout, just yeah. for one game in the tryout. Yeah. And I looked around. I looked around, and no one said anything. So I said, okay, I'll do it. So- and from there, yeah. Not Crazy. in purpose, yeah. No, no, no. I was very lucky, very lucky. But in the in deepest of your heart, uh, what's your favorite position? I love goalkeeper. I love being a goalkeeper. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Why, bro? Because I, I love to. I love to. You know, make saves. Uh, I love to. I, I like to use my feet. You know, like the like the modern goalkeepers you see. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's still like I still feel. Like I can be very important to the game, even yeah. from all the way in the back. I can do a lot of things. Who's your favorite goalkeeper? <laughs> And now I would have to say my favorite goalkeeper would be, I think, would be Ederson. Ederson. Yeah, yeah. Not Buffon. No, no. You is your Buffon your favorite? I I used to be a goalkeeper when I was a uh, junior high school. But, ah, you know, okay. Yeah. But for now, I'm a striker, but. Only for fun football, yeah. Okay. Not not like a professional like you, bro. But if you, <laughs> if you ask me uh, about the goalkeeper, I like Sebastian Frey. You know that he was playing for Parma, mm-hmm. and then I forgot Fiorentina. Mm-hmm. His, I never, no, his, I've actually never heard. Yeah, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you're still young, bro. <laughs> ah, he was older. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, different generation, man. Different time, <laughs> different time, bro. <laughs> Do you know any Indonesian goalkeepers? Uh actually, because of uh, you know the whole situation going on now yeah. with me in Indonesia, yeah, I've, I know um, Nadeo. Nadeo. Um, I think, uh, oh, man, I don't know their names. I don't want to say their name wrong, but I know the, the some of the ones who are. <laughs> You already contacted by PSSI? Yeah, yeah. So I have so many, so many like things, crazy stories. You know, I mean, it's not a crazy story, but uh, so the goalkeeper coach, yes, uh, you know, uh, coach you, he reached out to me on Instagram, and it was for some reason it went to you know in the DMs there's um, the request and then there's like a, another section of like hidden hidden requests yeah, yeah yeah you know that yeah and if for some reason it was in my hidden request so i don't check instagram like that much and then it took me like a week and a half or something and then i found it and i said oh shit so then i i decided i said i responded back to him yeah and we talked for a little bit yeah yeah what did what did he say to you uh he first he reached out to me he asked me if i speak uh indonesian or bahasa and then And I, said, and I said very little. We talked about my situation, you know, uh, with like Indonesia and my, 
my current status with every my passport and and things like this yeah is there any official like official from pssi contact you directly so far no besides uh the goalie coach reaching out to me they haven't contacted me but i think yesterday the ambassador from greece he went and he visited the headquarters um with uh iwan boule um oh, yeah. yeah yeah so i think they talked about me i think i saw something on the internet uh, from pssi talking about it yeah so we'll see what happens but uh yeah i mean i'm optimistic yeah it's yeah. a good signal mm-hmm. are you ready to play for team nas in indonesia yeah i hope i hope i hope to play for them for sure are you excited are you excited I'm, i'm very excited you know to come back to my fatherland and to play in front of like uh you know my second home you know it'd be it'd be very nice but if you got an over to play in indonesian premier league would you accept that now yeah uh i think now i think the best thing for my career would be you know i worked my whole life to come to europe and now i have it i think you know for my career now i think the best thing to do would be to stay in europe but i see that the indonesian league is growing you know yeah i see that they're the structure and the organization is, is getting better so i think with time everything will become much better ya yeah, ya yeah. berarti dia masih ada kesempatan Roy people untuk main di Liga 1 Indonesia ya yeah. tuh so, do you think Cyrus Margono can break the grip of the local Indonesian national team goalkeeper yeah i think you know with my experience that i have in europe and growing up in a different system i'll, I'll definitely i'll do my best you know every day to to you know push everyone in the the goalkeeper group and yeah hopefully yeah do my best <laughs> have you ever seen the uh, indonesian team playing yeah i've watched uh, i watched some of the AFFF uh, Suzuki AFF. cup yeah 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 i watched some of it i've watched some highlights on uh, youtube and things like this bro what makes you move now instead of years ago Uh I think now I'm you know further along in my career than I was a few years ago. I was still uh a few years ago I was in high school. <laughs> a few years so, ago. Yeah. yeah, I was in high school. Um and then after that it was COVID. Yeah, yeah. So I think you know back then I wasn't sure how possible it was. Yeah. And now you know I'm in a much better situation to help the the team out. So how How's the situation in Greece right now? You mean like uh like the COVID. football, the football with the COVID. Um actually they last week they opened up the capacity now. I'm not sure if it's 100%, but things a lot of things are more open and the fans I think it was like uh Panathinaikos played yeah. and I think it was 50% of the stadium or something like this. It, it was a lot of people. Man. Yeah. Are, are you guys still wearing masks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the Anywhere. training facility. Uh yes, everywhere. Of course not when you when you go to the restaurant to eat. Oh, of like course, the, of no, course, no. bro. Of course, bro. <laughs> in Indonesia, I see it's I see it's it's not it's not uh very good the, the situation. Uh it's, Or it's better. up and down, bro. Yeah, yeah the situation yeah. is up and down. So I hope uh, the covid hope will better. finish yeah. soon, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, you can yeah. come in to summer. Indonesia and then to sure. play uh, and then You can play with Indonesian national team because you know Piala Asia, you know Asian Cup mm-hmm. uh, is uh, coming soon, coming really soon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I thought that was that the the under 23 competition. Under 23, we we cannot go. We 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 didn't go, bro, because mm-hmm. some of players got COVID. Got COVID. So, yeah, I saw. <laughs> we have to go for the qualification first, bro. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. If we pass the qualification group, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we can go to the Asian Cup. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Do you know Shin Taeyong? Yeah, I've heard of. Uh, I you know yeah I know who Shin Taeyong is. The uh, coach, the head coach. You, so you never talked to Shin Taeyong? No, I spoken with uh, the goalkeeper coach. The goalkeeper coach, yeah, not Shin Taeyong. No. What's the different style you can see from Panathinaikos, uh, Europe, European football, and then Indonesian football? I think that you know European football has been more structured for yeah. you know more time. They've had more time. I mean, football started in in England. I think just the just the way that. They that 
they like show up to training and the way that they're organized as a, as a team is different. Um, but I know that Indonesia has a lot of, a lot of people and there's for sure a lot of talent, like a lot of talent in yeah. Indonesia. You just have, to have the correct, they ha you have the talent. You just need the correct uh, structure, you know, to help push the talent to get their full potential. Cause there's a lot of potential in Indonesia. You know, I see some of the players and they they do amazing things. Um, so I just think it comes down to the structure and the way that you deal with the players from when they're babies, bringing them all the way to first team. Okay. How's your schedule like every day in, in your club? Our trainings are either in the morning or yeah. the afternoon. But if I have training, you know, at 10 o'clock, I wake up at eight o'clock. Um, I get ready, you know, I do my, my routine yeah. and then I head to training. I get there a little early. Uh, I go to the gym. We have uh, activation, you know, in the gym. And then sometimes maybe we have a meeting or we go out to train on the field. And then, you know, after training on the field, I like to stay extra with my goalkeeper coach, you know, do some extra training. Yeah. And then after that, <laughs> I go to the gym again. Really? Uh, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. You can ask any of my teammates every day. I'm two in the times, gym again. Two times a day. Yeah. Before is like, you know, activation and like keeping the muscles correct, you yeah. know, keeping them strong. Yeah. And then after, you know, maybe I work on getting stronger, like more strong. Or I do like stretching and things like this, you know, every day because you know I love football. It's my life. So how 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 many day off you get? <laughs> a week, uh, a week. Norm normally one day. One day normally. a week. Yeah, but a few weeks ago we had three weeks in a row with no days off, and then they gave us three days off. Really? But it was twenty days with uh, no days off. Yeah, yeah. What happened, bro? <laughs> we had a lot of we had a lot of games. Okay, the intensity getting higher. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, and now it's a little bit, a little bit down, but it will pick up. It will pick up soon again, I think. So, what you gonna do next, bro? After this? Yes, I'm gonna go uh, over to my parents' house. I think I I need to eat a little bit. Uh, I mean, like for your career, bro. For your career. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your future plan? my career. What's your future okay. plan? My future plans. Yeah. Um. What's your hmm. dream? Something like that, you know. I mean, well. My my short short term dream, you know, or my plan is to is to make it, you know, play with the first team of Panathinaikos. You know, of course, that's a club I'm at now, and after that, we'll see. But I mean, every player, you know, dreams of playing in the Champions League, in the World Cup, and things like this. And I think, I mean, there's a possible, there's a big possibility with Panathinaikos to play play in the Champions League. You know, they used to play in the Champions League, and the World Cup. You know, that's something that. Hopefully in 2026, you know, I'll be wearing Garuda. <laughs> But anyway, what, what, what is your dream club? Dream club. Hmm. <laughs> I'd say, I, you know, I love watching Manchester City play. Yeah. Um, uh, Chelsea is also a great, great club. I love it. I love, you know, England, but I don't have like one club that I would have to, I have to choose. I would have to go, but those would be the top, I guess. Yeah, if uh, Manchester United offering you uh, contract or Liverpool or any of the England club like Premier League clubs, but mm. they offer you less salary, you will get it or not? <laughs> I think the most important thing for me now is playing time. So wherever I play, uh, that's where I you know I would take. But now I'm with Panathinaikos, and that's the only thing. It's like this. All I see is Panathinaikos. Okay, okay. Loyal, right. loyal. Okay. So you focus, <laughs> not not catching the money first, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, my focus now is with Panathinaikos. You know, every day, and doing the best I can for my club now. Are you optimist? You can be a first goalkeeper in Panathinaikos. One day soon, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. How many I have years? To put, how many put, years do you think you can you can? <laughs> uh, I have no optimist, idea. Optimist, bro. Optimist. I, You, you can yeah, put, no for sure optimist you can put the the limit for yourself you know what I mean like uh okay in two years I will get that so yeah, yeah. inside of your body or your mind will support mm -hmm. you you know you know what I mean yeah of course of course two years I yeah. don't know though a few years a few years I'll a say few a few years, years. because oh, you're still young yeah yeah I'm still 20 years old yeah okay any plan to come <laughs> to Indonesia uh soon Uh, hopefully, uh, 
this with summer? the team, but this summer, yeah, hey, hopefully this summer, yeah, yeah, with the team. But besides that, if I have if I have uh, time off in the summer for sure, you know, I'd love to come to Bali or maybe to uh, Jakarta to meet my family again or something like that. Uh, you you have many family in Jakarta, yeah? A lot, yeah, yeah a, a lot. lot. Jakarta, Surabaya, yeah, those two. Mainly. Surabaya, can you say Janto? Jago. Ah, yeah, this is uh, the this is the 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 team, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Defense. Something like. <laughs> can you say Janto properly? Jago. Janto. Janto. <laughs> Janto. Slang <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> words, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What does it mean? <laughs> gitu lah bro ya. Yeah. <laughs> Oke, okay, so it's gonna be your first interview eksklusif ya yeah, for mm -hmm. Indonesian YouTube channel. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Is it true or not? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, because so many like media in here grab my content and then put on the Instagram. Uh, so it's gonna okay. be official interview with Cyrus Margono eksklusif, right? <laughs> Ya, yeah. first time, ya. Yeah? First time, first mm -hmm. time. Wih, mantap. Tepuk tangan dong. Tepuk tangan buat saya. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So you prefer uh, I call you Cyrus or Margono? Cyrus, Cyrus ya. Yeah. <laughs> Margono, yeah, yeah. Margono tuh. Yeah, ya. yeah. <laughs> Cyrus yeah. more bule, bro. You know bule? You know bule? Yeah, bule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White guy. Kamu bule juga? Sama bule, half bule. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> so your status is uh, still waiting for Indonesia to call you, ya. Yeah? VSSI to yeah. contact you. To officially, yeah. To officially exactly. contact you right now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time, bro. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Uh, talk to you later. Alright. Kali lagi, semoga sukses. I hope you success for anything in Panathinaikos or maybe in Indonesian team later. Thank you, bro. Okay, I appreciate bro. it. Right, guys, right. signing out. Yeah. Right, people. Cyrus Margono signing out.